Okay, the last for uh, the last bullet dynamic object is motor here. That's I explain it with two examples for you for gear and then with this motor. As you can see, if you play, this is a simple car that we can create with that. As you can see, we uh, use a connector and a motor for this. Let's begin from the start to you better understand that. <clears throat> As you can see, we have the base object here, two wheels. You can actually begin from one bit and this plane. This plane is as a, <clears throat> a dynamic object here. And these two are for this tag are bullets here, rigid body. And as you can see, if you pl play, they fall down each other. So for first, you learn before with the connecting to each other, we need a connector. But first, uh, so begin for motor. The axis of the motor is very important. Don't forget that. Make it try the wheel and then going here, turn it on and reset transfer. In this case, you learned it before, the motor exactly aligned to the <clears throat> axis of these wheels. And uh, yeah, you can make it a child of that. It means they are falling with each, each other. So if you play something, as you can see, turn red, it means it's something wrong. Of course, it's something wrong because you have to assign object A and B here. It's not very important. In this case, that we <clears throat> assign a dynamic object. We had to uh, use two objects one object as a base and one object as a rotation object the motor a we need a build as object a and the base object b as you can see they're connecting and in this case they're applying to the both it's not important as you can see the motor are rotating in that wrong direction you can for going this direction you can uh instead of build the object a uh, Assign it to the object B and the base that object to object A. In this case, rotate can this direction. As you can see, they are not connecting because the motor are not connected. <clears throat> we have another bullet object, the connector. You learn it before. You can make it the child of the uh, wheel and hinge and reset transform because the axis is very important. You can select both of them, display always visible. In a connector, we need to connect two objects together. This object as a base and this object as a rotating. You have to uh, align the hinge connector in the axis of the object that you want to rotate. In this case, uh, the object B and A is not important. Object A and object B this object A and this object B. And as you can see, it's co work correctly. Nice. So it's very simple. This is a wheel, click and drag it. And we have a copy to that. And we have two motor, two wheel, nice. In this case, you can turn the back motor off. As you can see, I think, oh, oh we have to, I think delete that. Oh, it's better to have two motor on. It's not. Okay, this is an example number one. And in a motor, we have a very simple settings. You can apply it to both or just one object to rotate. In this case, both is nice. Or oh, we have angular and the linear. In this case, we need a angular of course <clears throat> in a linear i have to give a later example to understand it and here the mode here the mode uh it's a uh, for angular rotation so for regulate speed you can if you want to more speed you can increase this number and as you can see we have a more speed. Don't forget to uh, change the friction in these tags. Here, a friction, bounce, and the friction is nice. 
I mean the motor or you can just apply torque for for example you have a slope you can add a torque to that with a torque we have more power to uh, for example as you can see we create up uh, this is an oh this is a back wheel not not important as you can see the motor at the back is very more powerful than the motor at the front and we have this situation interesting so if you need more power you can just use the apply the force instead of the speed that's angular target speed here okay this examples we have a connector and the object all of the objects are rigid body but in this case if you want to rotate a motor on a fly based on a bar here this gear like this we have a different situation for motor so we delete all of these and begin from scratch <clears throat> as you can see we have a gear here that i uh, make it from the here and we have a cylinder that as a base object you can name it a base object and of course this is a rigid body and assign it to collider body that if you play it as you can see it's fall down and make it back for um, if it is something wrong um, uh, change this slider a little that everything goes in the direction but don't forget to change the shape of the collision to moving measure i will be explain them in detail just just moving because it's automatic it's automatic it's going way down because it doesn't calculate this hole and it in it's thinking that it's a full object and intersect with that bar that is exactly go through it so because this object this gear is for moving just we need the moving mesh nice and then go to the simulation in the bullet we need the motor as i said before before you're using a motor <coughs> display it always we want to connect it turn off the motor and need the connector because we want to this object rotate be based on this object go to the connector always display <coughs> and object a and a b is not important this is a gear and a base and as you can see they are connected nice the gear does not fall they are <coughs> connecting with the hinge type and we now we bring motor as you can see something is wrong okay because we have to assign object a or b in this case you don't have to uh, assign both objects just we want to rotate this object based on a connector in this case don't forget to just click and drag the gear object and now everything is nice okay make it smaller number and it's rotating so in this case in the motor we just assign one object why we don't assign an object b because we use a connector and the connector this object is automatically connect with this object that is um, collider body if you assign another uh, base object cylinder it does not work you can change the speed or torque for actually use the torque for this torque is for a starting imagine like electric motor if started uh, if at the first starting it needs more power so like a torque and after that it's rotating a constant number that you set it here and it's very simple you can simply click and drag we need motor this and copy like this nice and if rotated another gear will be rotated don't forget to change the collision to moving mesh in this case we can simply create such a distance okay this is a motor and you can combine it with other uh, simulation um, dynamic objects 
For example, you can combine it with a wheel suspension. Okay, you can use it and create a very nice and realistic car. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.